Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to uh, a new video of mine. Um, today I think we're going to talk a little bit about basically Marvel and DC and uh, basically what's going on, what, what, what's going on at both companies. Um, recently a lot of leaked Marvel pictures have been going around, covers of the uh, new, all new, all different Marvel, uh, I guess that's what they're calling it. And uh, it's sparked a lot of interest on Comics Amino and uh, Facebook and just a bunch of places that I've been uh, keeping up with. Both companies have, seem to be doing another reboot, or I should say uh, DC is doing another reboot, sort of, um, a softer reboot, and Marvel is doing the same thing. Um, now, what I find, I'm sorry, I just moved it. What I find um, super interesting about this is some of the covers are intriguing me a little bit. We're on issue four of Secret Wars came out today, actually, so I'll be reading that. Um, but, and I'm not reading it, uh, really any of the tie-ins besides like uh, Renew Your Vows, um, and I think the X-Men 92 one I'll be, I'll be reading. Um, because I'm not really a tie-ins person, you know, I, I read the main story and that's pretty much it. The only tie-ins I really enjoyed were the Convergence tie-ins, um, and some of them were okay and some of them were mediocre. I mean, I love DC, but it's just, it's just the truth. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about what both companies are doing and what basically intrigues me, uh, the most. Um, right off the bat, let me, sorry I had to move my, uh, stuff. You saw me do my review of Batman. Batman uh, 41 to be specific. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought Batman 41 was a great, great issue. Um, Scott Snyder can really do no wrong with Batman. And I, I know that's kind of cliche to say and Sounds like I'm I'm worshiping him a little bit, hero worshiping Scott Snyder, I guess. But um, really, every issue of Batman has been a knockout. Even the slower issues that I didn't really care for, Zero Year, I really liked, but it was kind of just okay. But I still really liked it. Um, it wasn't fantastic, but it was still good. His slower his slower moments are still so good, and his lesser moments are still so good. And I think that says something about the character that he has created. Greg Capullo's art on the book is just unbelievable, even with the new stuff. He's great, he's knocking it out of the park. So, Batman's good. I mean, I love Commissioner Gordon as Batman so far. I mean, we only have had a little bit with the Batman Superman. Um, the Batman Superman, the uh, action or detective comics, and the Batman, but I mean, so far he's pretty fun and I'm, I'm intrigued and interested to see more. I don't want this to be permanent. Um, I really don't. I, uh, I'd rather see Dick Grayson in the suit myself. My favorite Batman is Dick Grayson. The Morrison, Batman, and Robin stuff just blew me away. I really, really enjoyed that crap. Um, but yeah, so that's what's, you know, DC's changing it up. And also, DC's changing it up with Superman. Um, you know, with the whole Truth thing, which I was super excited for Superman Truth. Um, you know, Superman being depowered in a sense, I mean, he's he's depowered, but not all of his powers are taken, I guess. Like, he can jump um, really high. Uh, he jumped in the Superman Wonder Woman issue, and he's still fighting superpower. I mean, superpowered beings at the end of Action Comics 41, we saw that. And I didn't do a review uh, of that, because I didn't read Action Comics 41 when it came out. I read uh, Superman. 41. And Superman 41 was decent. Um, I'm not digging John Romita Jr.'s art on the book. John Romita Jr. did some amazing stuff with Spider-Man and um, other stuff in the past. I love his Spider-Man. His Spider-Man is iconic, but um, nothing like his dad's, but you know, it's still very iconic, still very awesome. Um, but I don't dig his Superman art. Uh, I'll still be reading Superman but issue 41 was like the first part of truth and it intrigued me and it made me go up and pick up uh, action comics 41 and this was some amazing stuff in my opinion um you know 
first off, I love the cover. This is gonna be like a light review of 41 because it's been out for a long time. It's been out for a few, uh, almost a month, right? I think so. I think Action Comics 42 came out today, actually. But, um, you know, it, it was really, really good. A really good read. I have read Greg Pak's the Action Comics and he really knows how to write Superman. Um, and uh, Cooter, Aaron Cooter, I think, uh, helps him write it, and he's also the pencilist. And he is, he knows how to draw Superman. Um, the only thing I really don't care about in in the new Superman thing, <sighs> Superman looks kind of like a douche, like kind of like a musclehead douchebag, and um, I don't really like it. I get that, you know, the shaved head and stuff. I guess is to save his identity, hide his identity, but I, I don't know. Like, it's 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 such an interesting story, though. It is really, really an interesting story. Um, you know, him being depowered, having no powers at one point, then having a lot of powers. I guess, like, not a lot of powers, but having some powers. It's a really interesting story, and it, it takes place in a good. Um, good, uh, good setting, you know, with Action Comics 41 and Superman going to different places and then going back to Metropolis and seeing it quarantined and locked down and, you know, it was really, really good. I've been really, really enjoying uh, this and honestly, since the New 52 started, Superman's like my favorite, one of my favorites. No, I could say he's my favorite right next to Spider-Man. There hasn't been a lot of New 52 Superman stories I liked. Action Comics started with a bang and I loved it. Um, for like the first 10 issues and then it kind of just started to go down a little bit then in 19 Action Comics like blew me away I thought it was great I was like oh I think it was 19 but I was like oh my god like this is amazing this is so good and then the creative team left like after an issue or two I was like alright then Greg Pak took over and it's been really good um, really really solid I really enjoyed the Doom stuff I thought it was pretty neat um, you know but this story, this truth story, is definitely the first story I've been really, really excited about uh, so far. And so that says something, me being the Superman fan I am. So I love it. Um, Superman Wonder Woman, I adore. I adore the new Wonder Woman costume. I love the pants that she's in. I'm a sucker for the Wonder Woman pants suit that she wore in Odyssey. I'm a sucker for this new suit. I even like the arm blades. Um, my girlfriend's favorite hero is Wonder Woman. So uh, I read all of her Wonder Woman and um, she reads Superman and Wonder Woman because she adores that couple and I love that couple as well. That's another thing. Uh, some people don't like it. Some people don't like Wonder Woman and Superman. Some people think it should be Lois and Clark. Uh, some people think it should be Batman and Wonder Woman. I disagree. I think it only makes sense that Superman and Wonder Woman should be in a relationship. I just like it. I really enjoy the Superman Wonder Woman book. I've been with it since the first issue. I don't want to see this relationship die. It will eventually, but I want to see this relationship continue to go. I don't like Lois Lane very much. She, sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm like, Lois, you're a douche. Like, pretty sure she outed Clark's identity in this. And at one point she was like Brainiac or something. I don't know. Lois, I don't care about. I really don't. I like her in the animated series. I like her in Injustice before she got murdered by Superman. I like her in stories here and there, Last Sun, you know, stuff like that. But Wonder Woman's my favorite female hero. And she has really, I just, I really dig the Superman-Wonder Woman relationship. I really love it. Um, so yeah, Superman-Wonder Woman's good. Wonder Woman's good. Action Comics is good. Superman's decent. Batman's good. Uh, I haven't checked out any of the Green Lantern stuff. Um, or the Oliver Queen Green Arrow stuff yet. I probably will. Martian Manhunter, I've heard, was all right. Um, Justice League has gotten, JLA has gotten some pretty good feedback. I haven't actually read that yet, but hopefully I'll be able to read it soon. Um, but yeah, DC's just doing really good right now, in my opinion. I think towards the middle and the end of the New 52, they started to have a dip in writing and all that kind of stuff. But after Convergence, I can really see an improvement, and I really love the no continuity thing. I love that someone can, uh, I love that someone can uh, write a pre-Flashpoint Superman story if they want to. 
I love that someone can write a, um, uh, you know, a, I they can they can make a new Teen Titans book if they wanted to. They can make a new Teen Titans story if they really wanted to, and it wouldn't be tied into into something else. JLA is Superman has all his powers, and it feels like apparently it feels like this is like their first meeting. So it's 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 respectable. I really like that. So DC, you're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. Marvel. Um, I love Marvel. <laughs> I, this is going to be kind of a longer video. I love Marvel. They're, I'm scared. I'm very, very worried about after Secret Wars. Secret Wars has been a decent book um, so far. Uh, we're on, like I said, issue four came out today, and I will be putting my review up for that soon. It's just, with those covers that were leaked and shown, my main issue is really Spider-Man. Spider, so we get Miles Morales, Peter, and Spider Gwen in the uh, main universe. I'm assuming Spider Gwen, I think. I'm not sure. I really don't know. But uh, hopefully, we'll see. Um, Miles Morales is going to be the main Spider Man. Sort of. I don't have an issue with that at all. I love Miles. I've been reading Miles, I stuck with Miles. Um, at first I was a little salt because I cried in the death of Spider-Man. That's my favorite, one of my favorite Spider-Man stories of all time. I really, really, really love that story. Peter looks to be so far in the first issue cover. I love the art in the cover. I'm pretty sure um, that it's going to be, it looks like it's in the future. It looks like he is going to the future. He has like this web. His like spider has like a green lining around it. His web is green. Um, looks like the spider mobile is back. Okay. And it's like riding on the side of a building. He's like up in the corner. He has like a, he's in like a tuxedo and he's got like a wrist thingy. Like I also heard just like a few hour or an hour ago um, from Comic Book Cast 2, shout outs to them, that um, he's going to basically be Spider Man worldwide. So, amazing Spider Man around the world. I don't know how I feel about that. I would have much rather seen Peter and Miles team up a whole lot. Um, I wanted Miles to be the Robin to Peter's Spider Man. Now, I'm not saying. And a lot of people got upset at me when I said that. Like, a lot of friends, like, they were like, oh, Miles is, Miles doesn't need to be a sidekick. He's so much better than that. Let me, let me, let me talk about this for a minute. Dick Grayson became Nightwing. Tim Drake became Red Robin. Jason Todd became Red Hood. You know, Stephanie Brown became Batgirl. Damian Wayne has his own standalone book. Being a sidekick, if it's written well, is not bad. I would have loved to see Bendis write these two together again because Spider-Man was awesome. I really enjoyed Spider-Man. I don't know how to feel about Spider-Man Worldwide. Kind of reminds me of Batman Inc. A lot of comments I saw on Comic Book Cast 2 was Facebook page was Batman Inc. Basically, a lot of people are happy, a lot of people are not. Um, I am on the fence because Dan Slott is still on the book. I'm not happy with Dan Slott still being on the book at all. Um, I wanted a new writer. Peter David, would have that would have blew my mind because I don't think the Spider-Man 2099 book is coming back, um, but I don't know. Uh, Peter David would have blew my mind. Um, Bendis, I wanted Bendis to write him. I wanted Bendis to write him because I love the Ultimate Spider-Man. I have all the trades right there of Ultimate Spider-Man, the Peter stuff, and he's been killing it with Miles. Would have loved to see him tackle both characters. I think he could have done a lot, a lot, a whole lot with them. Spider-Gwen is Spider-Gwen. You know, good. It's been consistently good. It's going to come back. It's probably going to be good. Um, Captain Marvel's, I haven't read it, but my girlfriend reads it, and she said it's really good. Really like that cover. Spider-Woman's pregnant. That's interesting. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I guess the Ultimates are still around, which is confusing. I guess they're going to be in the main universe. 
Um, Uncanny Avengers, I think that's what it was. Spider-Man's on that team, too. That's It's, it's confusing me, because Spider-Man's in his normal suit in Uncanny Avengers. Um, but in The Amazing Spider-Man, he has this futuristic suit. So is it the same timeline, or are they doing what they're doing with DC, and are they just not being tethered to a continuity? I don't know. I don't know what the heck Marvel has planned. Um, you know, there are a ton of other books, but those, those stuck out to me. Um, and I will be reading Miles. I will be reading Spider-Man. Um, I'm super excited. I'm so excited for that book. I'm more excited for that book than I am The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> like, to me, I love The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, not recently. I just, I, just, I, I just really wish they would have kicked Slot off the book, made him go write something else. You know, it, it kills me that he's still in the book. So, I don't know. It doesn't look great. It really doesn't. I'm going to be buying it. You know I'm going to be buying it. You know I'm going to be talking about it on the channel. Um, you know I'm going to be giving him my money, but... I don't know. I don't have high hopes. I do not have high hopes whatsoever. Dan Slott has done some great things. Spider Island, I dug. Big Time, I dug. Um, Superior, I dug. Like, towards, you know, the middle and the end. You know, he's... I, he's, he's done good things. Since the Amazing Spider-Man Volume Three started, it's not been good. It has not been very good. Some things have been kind of cool. Um, overall, it's just not been a good time. I just have not enjoyed myself. My favorite issue of that has been the Miss Marvel team up, and that's not even that great. I'm sorry. So, oh, also Star Lords of Woman, um, kind of cool. Kitty Pride maybe. Saw a lot of people saying that. Star Lord Kitty Pride. And where's Peter Quill? If, if, if that's the case, where, where the heck is Peter Quill? Um, I don't know. And what pisses me off the most about this whole Spider Man thing is I guarantee when the new Spider Man movie comes out, Peter Parker will be put back in, in New York. That's what they do. And then what will happen to Miles? Will he just be shoved aside? Like, what is your plan, Marvel? What is your plan? You have been disappointing me with Spider-Man lately. Um, other things have been decent, but, you know, you, you, I want to know what the plan is. You know? I want to know what the heck the plan is. So, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we still have Secret Wars to get through, and these books will be coming out. Not too far away. We're not too far from coming out. Gotta finish Renew Your Vows first, and the main Secret Wars storyline, and then we'll see the future of Spider-Man. So... I think that's all I have to talk about. I'm at 17 minutes, so I apologize for the long video, uh, but there was just a lot that I needed to talk about. Uh, upcoming videos, Arkham Knight review is coming out. I've been playing it. Spoiler alert, it's really good. It's really, really good. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, picked it up. I haven't had, <coughs> excuse me, I haven't had a whole lot of time to play it. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, I haven't had a whole lot of time to play it, but I, have, I think I have like two hours left of game, is what I'm guesstimating. Really, really, really good. So I'll be pushing out a review on that soon. Um, and then I will be talking about more comics coming up. Ant-Man review. I'm um, already hearing great things. Great things about that movie. Um, probably going to be my favorite Marvel movie so far. I really think that. Judging off the reviews, I love Paul Rudd. I love Ant-Man. I don't know why but I do. So yeah, that's it for here. I'm going to call it here at 18 minutes, almost 19. So sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm going to call it here. Like I said, this is Tyler, and I'm going to peace out.